You know, a lot of people have asked why you haven't made Featherweight your home. It seems like it's a lot faster of a track to the title uh, since there are just so few contenders in that division. Well, that's part of the problem. It's, uh, yes, it's the same woman at the top of both heats, but there's so many less opportunities to fight at 145 right now. We'll see in the next year, year and a half, because I highly expect them to bring in Kayla and then try to start building the division. But basically, it's for opportunity, because I'd like to fight more. And for me, in order to do that, I can't do 35 all that often. It takes a lot of effort, a lot of time, and it's got to be exact. 45, I can, as you see, take on a 10-day notice fight. Yeah, so you believe that it hinges on whether or not they bring in Kayla Harrison. And, and if they do that, you think that a division will actually grow as opposed to kind of be stagnant like it has been for the last couple of years. Absolutely. They just haven't put the uh, the time or the effort into it. Right now, it's kind of just here for Amanda when she wants to fight. And she's another big girl that has 35. It takes a lot of effort and a lot of time. And it's a lot healthier to fight at 45. So she wants the division, so it's here. But they need stars. They need basically more in more substance and Kayla is the obvious answer and I think they've been angling for for a while and her last fight on PFL is coming up so I fully expect her to be signed and then them to start building the 145 division why do you think they didn't do that for Cyborg I mean when I think of women's 145 pound fighters Cyborg is at the absolute top of the heap in terms of all time she is but we'll be honest here and Cyborg's and she seems like an amazing person an amazing athlete but it was clear the UFC was not the actor they like her from any perspective, marketing or otherwise. Like, she was not somebody they got behind in any way, from what I can see.